A former vice president of the Nigerian Bar Association on Monday, Mondu Bani says President Muhammad Buhari breached the constitution for failing to hand over to the vice president while embarking on a two-week private visit to London. Bani also commend, condemned the transportation of a bill to London for Buhari to sign. The lawyer faulted the claim that the president was not mandated to hand over the power to the vice president unless he will be away for more than 21 days. He said those making claims were misinterpreting section 145 subsection 2 of the constitution. Obani recalled that subsection 2 was introduced to section 145 of the constitution in 2010 to forestall a repeat of what happened when late President Umar Musa Yaradwa embarked on a foreign medical trip without transmitting power to the vice president. He said the sum total of that subsection is that if president fails and refuses or neglects to transmit power to the vice president, the National Assembly is mandated after the period of 21 days to pass a resolution and pass empowering the vice president to start to act automatically as the acting president of Nigeria. Ubani said the signing of a bill in, by Buhari in London did not speak well for Nigeria's sovereignty. He said, more troubling is the signing of offshore bills in the UK outside the shores of Nigeria. The act of signing the bill outside the country politically sends a signal to our friends that our sovereignty as a nation is in doubt.